So that is called hypothalamic amenorrhea. And what that means is that the hormones that are produced in the brain and then kind of cascade down to signal hormones that are produced in the ovary are not produced. So um, GnRH, the gonadotropic uh, releasing hormone that is produced, uh, triggers the follicular stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone that are produced in the ovary. That signal does not translate to production of estrogen and progesterone, so the woman loses her periods. They may become irregular initially, and then they may stop completely. The trigger for that has been studied, and it's a little still unclear whether it's body fat percentage, whether it's weight, whether it's cortisol levels that stimulate decrease in GnRH um, based on stress and the intensity of workouts. All of that is a little bit unclear, but at the end of the day, a woman will not have her period if she is too lean and she may be working out too intensely, too long. Um, many women athletes are trying to actually become quite lean because in endurance sports, it's advantageous to be lighter. It's quite similar to when a girl would have her first period because she needs to reach a certain threshold of weight or uh, body fat percentage in order to start her period. So this is kind of happening in reverse. Long-term uh, not having periods can be damaging because you are without estrogen so bones tend to become thinner, so the development of osteopenia or osteoporosis, which may or may not reverse itself, because um, as we are in our adolescent years and early 20s and then up to 30s, we are building peak bone mass. We reach peak bone mass around age 30. So if most of those years have been spent in an amenorrhea state, no periods, because she is too lean, she's working out very hard, then she may never be, uh, build that peak bone mass and she will end up having osteoporosis later on in life. So that is, that is one worry.